the St. Patrick's High School Athletic Performance Program is for every student who walks through the front doors. The purpose of this program is to create a strength and conditioning program uh, that impacts um, athletes, non-athletes, and community members as well. For athletic performance, we're looking at range of motion, right, which encompasses mobility and flexibility, because if we don't have great range of motion, we can't be great athletes. Then you have your strength, looking at what we do in the weight room to get our body stronger, more robust, more powerful to um, enhance our athletic performance, and then speed work, any type of energy system development. And then you have injury prevention. So now there's more incorporating like what we call prehab versus rehab, being proactive about injury prevention and incorporating that into things we do in the weight room through our warm-ups and through accessory work. So we, we look at range of motion, uh, we look at injury prevention, we look at athletic performance, and we have total athletic development. And within the middle of that, that whole encompassing circle, you have personal development. We're looking at personal growth, spirituality, nutrition, those kind of things, because at the end of the day, it's about building a better athlete, but more so building a better person. When we're looking at it, it's all about really volume, right? And what I mean by volume is over the time of the week, how much stress we're getting in, right? Because everything's about what's called consolidation of stresses. The, most, the minimal effective dose to be able to improve our performance, but also not um, overwork, overstress our athletes, right? So, for instance, when I say volume, right? If you look at three times 10, that equals 30. But so does six times five. At six times five, I can get five quality reps to ensure that our technique is on point because instead of getting three or four fatigued reps where they're not getting out of it, right? So I know that Monday, Wednesday, Friday, based on the sets and reps and the weights I use, we can, we can squat three days a week without running the risk of injury because of how we plan out the week, right? And make sure we get the, the appropriate amount of volume to elicit growth but not overwork them. So it allows us to kind of plan and program and monitor their progress and not overwork or overstress or overtrain. Dude, let's add that real quick. Great job to you. We are so sleep deprived, right? And that affects everything in our lives from school to athletic performance to just basic everyday function. You know, back with this old model where they're either extending their, their night, they're here till like seven, eight, or they're here till like 5.30 in the morning, and then we're harping on, you know, do homework, get your rest, you can take care of yourself. But when were they able to fit all that kind of stuff in? So now we make it part of the curriculum. So now they're getting their athletic performance or their workouts in during the day, right? They're gonna get a credit for it. And then they're also gonna learn some health and wellness takeaways for the rest of their life. It's also more about when they leave here, they can still model a healthy way of life. And it just it allows even the sport coaches to do some more more things with their teams that they may, they may have excluded because they had to get the weights in. So it's getting time back, allow them to get sleep, study, those, those kind of things. You know, it's, it's bigger than sport, which I think a lot of us in the, in the field would agree and we coach because it's more so than just X's and O's. Rocks on three. One, two, three. Rocks! Good job.